What would it mean to be able to talk to angels? How would that change your life? Join us now on Angel Talk Tuesday as the psychic angel channelers, Julie Geigel, Susan Schuler, and Lori Walker, allow angels to speak directly through them, sharing messages from beyond. As you bathe in the vibrational frequency of the angels here, you will begin to open up to a stronger and clearer communication of your own. The purpose of this show is to help you awaken, expand, and remember the magnificent being that you are and the mission you came here to fulfill. Welcome, welcome everyone. Our theme for the month is mental health. And today's topic is controlling your level of crazy. This is Julie Geigel, International Psychic Medium, Trans Channel for Archangel Metatron, and Awakened Healer. I offer psychic medium readings and spiritual counseling over the phone and in person in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And you can find me over at juliegeigel.com and on Facebook at Psychic Medium Julie. And I'd love to invite you to join me tomorrow or Thursday morning, actually, for our weekly meditation. It's a free meditation class over at the experts.omtimes.com platform. I teach a free weekly meditation over there every Thursdays at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And don't forget to join me on our Facebook Live over at Om Times Magazine. I'm hosted on that page on Facebook. And you can see me over there live at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And I love our Facebook Live because I can interact and engage with the audience directly. You can ask me questions. I can give you tips, specific tips. You can see me live in person, real time. And we talk about the messages that Metatron brings through today here on Angel Talk. So it's fun for me to do some processing, put my own twist on uh, the information that comes in and to be able to uh, engage with you in real time. So that's over on Facebook at our Om Times Magazine page. All righty, let's go ahead and get started here. And um, we are taking live calls. We're doing one free psychic or medium reading today. You can uh, call in during our second or fourth hour for that reading at one two zero two five seven zero seven zero five seven. And that is one two zero two five seven zero seven zero five seven. All right, I'm going to go ahead and ring the tincture bells to clear any lower vibrations and create a pure sacred space for our trance channeling today. And then just take three deep breaths with me. Welcome, I am Metatron, here in service to humanity, helping you to awaken, to align with your highest truth, and to expand into the magnificent being that you are at your core. Today we are excited to talk with you about the craziness in your life, in your world. And we invite you now to take a deep breath and relax deeper into this beautiful sacred space that is being created for you here now. And we invite the Pleiadians to assist us this morning with this beautiful healing, this beautiful peace and tranquility 
that is being infused into your being at this moment. Open your heart to receive this healing. Open your heart to receive this attunement to your expansion. And as you slip into this sacred space of inner knowing, we would like you to become aware of the choices that you have in your life. Your default program automatically moves you into fear and crazy. This is the automatic response that you engage in when things are amiss or awry in your life. It takes conscious effort and presence of this moment to catch yourself and recalculate, if you will. So the more that you can be present within your life and not allow the whims of the world to blow you here and there, the more powerful you will become in creating the reality that serves you best. Are aware that there is much discord within your political system and there is much fear as you listen to the news and watch the TV. Again, we would like to raise your awareness to the fact that your default program automatically moves to fear. And as you become aware of what fear looks like in your body, the tightness in your chest, the frowning of your brows, the tension in your neck. It is an opportunity for you to choose again. And as a light worker, you hold the power to influence the energy in your environment. And you can influence this energy through fear or through love. And even though you are only one person, your energetic influence is more powerful than you could even imagine. Trust us here when we say that it is not futile to think that you are one person and you cannot affect change. It is important for you to understand, to believe and to trust that you can affect change as one being. You can influence the energetic forces through staying present in love. Your power lies in loving without limits. 
dissolving your fears and breaking through your blocks. You have a plethora of angels and spiritual masters and teachers that are inspiring you to take action, to be heard, to use your voice, to use your energy, to influence the space in which you exist. If each of you would take back your power and stand in your truth, you would easily overcome and eradicate the chaos and craziness of the world. And as each of you are doing that at this moment, in this space that we are holding for you, trust and know that you are getting stronger and stronger. Peace will prevail on this planet. We are here to see to that with your assistance and with your power. I am Metatron and I have spoken here today. This is Julie Geigel channeling Archangel Metatron, and you can find me over at juliegeigel.com. You are listening to Angel Talk Tuesday, and we are taking live calls coming up in our next segment. You can simply dial in at 1-202-575-1111. Again, that number is one two zero two five seven zero seven zero five seven. And we'd love to invite you to join us in our break room over on Facebook. You can simply go to Angel Talk Tuesday Break Room and we post our favorite quotes from our channeled messages along with um, a chance to engage with you directly. So if you have any questions or comments, you can certainly post those in the break room and we can um, take note of those here on the radio show. And coming up in our next segment, we will be discussing the channeled messages from Archangel Metatron. And then in segment three, Susan Schuler will be channeling Jacob a master teacher of the Akasha. And our lovely Lori Walker is delivering babies today. So she will be joining us again next week. So stay tuned. We'll be right back after these messages from our sponsors. The future of Internet Radio is here. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. The number one reason girls drop out of school in Sub-Saharan Africa is lack of access to feminine hygiene products. The Pads for School Girls Project, an outreach of Humanity Healing International, is changing this paradigm by setting up sewing programs at schools, teaching girls a vocational skill, while producing the reusable pads that help keep them attending classes. The girls pay it forward by making and giving pad kits to other girls in need. To learn more, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. Hi, I'm Kelly Fox, host and astrologer of The Astrology Show. Each week, I'll give you access to the current transits, which are a valuable tool that provide astrological information to help unlock the potential each of us has. Understanding the stars 
can help steer us in the right direction to make better informed choices. So if you're wondering what's going to happen in your week ahead, be sure to tune in to The Astrology Show for guidance. Mondays at 9pm Eastern Time. Do you need help with relationships, romance, or career? I'm a triple-tested, accurate, and ethical psychic medium and spiritual counselor. Simply click on my Call Me Now button at juliegeigel.com. This is Susan Schuler. In life, intention is everything. And I make each of my handmade soy candles and smudging sprays just for you. Go to mediumsusan.com for details. Hi, this is Lori Walker. Have you picked up your free gift yet? You can download my chakra clearing meditation from my website at loriwalker.com. And we are the Psychic Angel Channelers. From Angel Talk Tuesday. Well, I finally did it. I opened a 401k. What? Why? Just wait for the inheritance. We've definitely got a rich uncle somewhere. We're one call away from the winner's circle at the Derby, dinners with multiple forks, a vacation home in the country, using summer as a verb. You don't actually think that, do you? When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. This message brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. Welcome back. This is Angel Talk Tuesday, and this is Julie Geigel. And uh, we're going to go ahead and talk about the messages that Metatron brought through here on our topic today, taking or controlling your level of crazy. And good morning, Susan. Good morning, Julie. How are you? I'm, well, I do have a little bit of a cold, so my <laughs> voice is a little wonky this morning. I um, feel like a two-year-old with my nose stuffed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness, goodness. Yes, yes. So, and you're traveling. You are in Buffalo right I now? I am. I'm on the East Coast right now. So it's interesting doing the show at a totally different time. It feels weird. Wow. Yeah, because you're, you're technically three hours or four hours later than what you it, normally would be. Three hours. Three hours, wow. Yeah, see yeah. that? That whole time thing totally goofs my body up when I'm <laughs> traveling. I mean, when we went to London, it was crazy. Wow, because that was like eight hours, wasn't it? Or six? Uh, eight or nine, I think. It depends what time yeah. of year you go, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, I like to stay here in the central time zone. <laughs> I'm telling you, being psychic, too, I swear that that um, time zone, when you shift the time zone, I just, you know, it's like floating. I have a really hard time grounding myself and being like, all right, uh, yep. what is time anyway? It's all an illusion, right? Right. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump in here to some messages. And I'm going to keep my eye out for Chris, our engineer. And uh, we are taking callers here in our uh, second segment. And we will be, um, you can certainly dial in at one 202 5707057 and we're only giving away one free psychic or medium reading today so you can feel free to uh, call in during our second segment or the fourth segment at the end of our show okay so chris will just let me know if we get a caller and then we'll just break in our discussion here so susan i'll have you uh, start us off with some uh, messages that came through today with metatron I want to start with a quote that he said in the early part of your channel, and I hope I can say this properly. He said, your default automatically places you in a fear or crazy um, when something goes amiss in your life, uh, and it takes a presence of spirit to be able to recalibrate that. Um, and to me, it's interesting because I never really thought of it that way, but it is true that if something doesn't go the way that we expect it to, we do automatically jump into the fear mode. And it's like, it'd be great if we jumped into the love mode, um, but it doesn't work that way. And I know. Um, why, why does I it don't work know. <laughs> It's like, come on. <laughs> exactly, so I'm like, and listening to him say that, I'm thinking to myself, is there any way that you can, and I mean, you talked about this a little bit, but I'm like, is there any way that you can retrain your brain or retrain the way that you're, 
pre-programmed to be. So it does jump into love rather than that fear. And is it that we will ever get to a point where that's what will initially default to, or is it always going to be a challenge? Well, I do believe that that's what the whole point of the awakening process is. And from what I know, awakening is one stage and then there's um, like transformation, I think of as like a second stage and then there's enlightenment and the final stage is God realization where we're really able to be one with God and have that presence in our life every moment or, you know, the majority of the time. But I, I think that um, the more that we move into these different levels and layers of awakening and enlightenment, we do step out of that ego default. I always think about the ego as the default of our body because that's the emotion. That's the where we, you know, instantly get paranoid or, you know, tend to think the worst in a situation when um, when we are able to take a deep breath and step back and get grounded and get a different perspective, then we're able to rationalize and, and kind of bring ourselves out of it or talk ourselves off the ledge. Uh, but yeah, I know I found in my life that <clears throat> very, very, I'm a very, very emotional person. And, and certainly that's one of my greatest gifts, but it's also one of my uh, greatest weaknesses. And so for many, many years, it took me a long, long time to balance those two and, and not hate that part of myself that I always viewed and others in my family viewed as a weakness, my sensitivity and, you know, that that whole empath thing. And so as I've moved along the awakening stages, I have found that I don't automatically go to fear or that paranoia state as easily. And if I do, if that is, you know, my instant reaction, I'm able to bring myself out of that much quicker. So those are actually signs that you are awakening and that you are moving into that next level of being here on this planet. Right. And, you know, it's interesting. Um, as I've mentioned on the show before, my mother's Christian, and she and I have discussions quite frequently about our spirituality. She seems to think that we believe in very different things. But this just shows to me, like the way she labels this, like you just said, this is ego. She says, you know, according to Bi the, the Bible and Adam and Eve about original sin, how man is intrinsically bad. That's the way she kind of views it. And to me, it's interesting because I don't see that we're intrinsically bad. I just see that we have this ego, like you put, that we do default to. So just listening to this and like r being reminded of the discussions I have with my mother, it really does show me that we really are all one. Absolutely, absolutely. And I know I used to do um, some workshops at a camp that we have here, and it's a camp for kids, but once a year the women would kind of take over and have a, a women's camp, our local hospital. And I would uh, do some workshops and stuff, and I tell you, every morning one of the women that came was a teacher, a science teacher, and she would host a Bible study program in the morning for like an hour. and. Um, I'm Catholic, so I'm like, oh, yeah, this will be fun. Well, um, so I would go, and she would talk a lot about sin and damnation. And all of a sudden, and I don't resonate a lot with that, but um, what hit me was every time she said the word sin, if I could replace that with the word ego, then all of a sudden everything fell into place. <laughs> and so it wasn't that we had different beliefs or different thoughts about how things operated. It was the verbiage, the semantics mm -hmm. that we were using to describe different things. And it just really was an epiphany for me, especially being Catholic. Um, so it really did bring me into another level of spirituality within my religion. Uh, so that was really, really exciting. But I do want to mention too, Susan, you know, I'm just thrilled. Our Eckhart Tolle program uh, started yesterday, and I'm going to send you some stuff on that. But it really is this uh, Sounds True is hosting Eckhart Tolle with this six-week program, and it is helping people 
the point of the program is to help people awaken and move into the final stages of enlightenment and God realization. So I'm really thrilled that you're going to be joining me for this because I know they're going to be, well, here I am sick and that's a, a perfect sign that <laughs> we're, we're going to another level, Susan. <laughs> oh, that's, Hang that's, on. <laughs> doesn't that give you hope too? It's like, I'm not just sick all the time. <laughs> Well, I tell you, this year it kind of feels like it. I've gotten slammed. This is the third time in less than six months. I haven't been this sick since I taught school. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, one other thing that you said that I feel like I need to point out, too, is, um, and I think I'm probably going to put this one in the break room. It says, um, if each of you would take back your power, you would eradicate this craziness of your world, and peace will prevail. And, you know, it's it's... I just recently took one of those silly little tests on Facebook, and that's one of the things that it said. Do you think that peace is, is it possible to have peace on earth? And my immediate reaction was no, no, no. People are always going to be a certain way. But when you realize if everybody did do this, you could have that peace on earth. Um, and it really does give me more hope, you know. And But so much of it is a personal thing, and one person can make such a difference and I feel like sometimes we just are like, oh, it's just lonely me here, and I want to do this, and it's just not going to work, and it's just, but we can. And I just love the fact that he did get into the fact that one person can make a huge vibrational shift. Yeah, and so absolutely. we do have power. We have so much power. And, I mean, I just always love it when he says, you know, if you could see what I see, if you could strip it all away and see who you really are, you would be amazed. You would just be un unbelievable. The glory and the grace and the power and the strength that you really do hold. And I do, you know, I get those visions. I get those glimpses sometimes when I look into people's eyes. And, and especially when I channel it, I just see it all. And it just humbles me, humbles me, brings me right to my knees, right to my knees and just in service and and gratitude for this beautiful opportunity and i'm just so grateful to be here and to have this venue to share this with people um and blast susan that i found you and you're joining me here <laughs> i feel like we're like the teacher the teacher rising up here with, uh, a, a new new messages new wisdom and inspiration all right, well, um, coming up in our next segment is our lovely Susan Schuler channeling Jacob, a master teacher of the Kasha. We will be taking live calls in our fourth segment at the end of our show. You can dial in at one two zero two five seven zero seven zero five seven, Or if you'd like to post a comment in our break room, we would uh, love to give you a shout out here in our break room, recognize those that are with us here supporting us this morning. We've got Jeannie Thomas, Lisa Phoenix. Um, wow. We've got quite a few people. Philip Colson, Karen Anderson, Karina Price, and Terry Stanley. Thank you so much for supporting us over on our Facebook page. All right. We'll be back uh, shortly. Stay tuned after these messages from our sponsor. of Conscious Radio, Om Times Radio, IOM FM. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Om Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Om Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Hi, this is Julie Geigel. Would you like to know the secret to manifesting? Join our next Manifesting Mastermind to create miracles of health, wealth, love, and joy. Sign up at juliegeigel.com. Why wonder when you can know? Hi, this is psychic medium Susan Schuler. Let me help you get the answers. Schedule an appointment today at mediumsusan.com. Hi, this is Lori Walker. Would you like to receive daily inspiration? Join me on Instagram and Facebook at Lori Walker. 
psychic medium healer and we are the psychic angel channelers from angel talk tuesday today my new dad and i shot off a rocket in the park today my new son and i failed to shoot off a rocket the rocket launched into the air and then crashed into the pond i'll never forget that day i'll never forget that day even if i tried you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. For more information on how you can adopt, visit AdoptUSKids.org. A public service announcement from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt US Kids, and the Ad Council. Welcome back to Angel Talk Tuesday. This is Susan Schuler. We hope you enjoyed our last discussion about the beautiful channel from Metatron and Julie Geigel today. As a channeler, I work with a team of guides from the Akashic Records, of whom Jacob is a master teacher and leader of this group. The Akashic Records are where I gain much information during my past life and psychic readings. I'm a professional psychic medium based in the Los Angeles area. I do readings for clients in person and on the phone and with Skype all over the world. I do a frequent mediumship and psychic demonstrations around Los Angeles and other parts of the country as well. Currently, I'm working in western New York and will be here from May 15th to May 29th. Tonight, I have a sold-out demonstration at the Eagle House in Williamsville, but still have a few spots open for private readings the week of May 22nd. If you are in western New York and would like to book a session, send me an email at mediumsusan at icloud.com. Aside from private readings and demonstrations, I also do small group readings and teach classes. All the details for any of this info can be found at my website at mediumsusan.com or on my Facebook page. Feel free to like me there. It is under Susan Schuler Psychic Medium. And as Julie previously mentioned, don't forget, we are accepting calls in the last segment today at 202-570-570. 7057. So feel free to call in for any mediumship or psychic mini readings. So let me switch gears now as I ask Jacob to step forward. Good morning, beautiful beings of light. We welcome you to a brand new day. As always, we are pleased you have taken the time from your action-driven lives to be with us today. For we know that on most days there is a careful balancing act of activities and goals you place in your way to achieve. We acknowledge this and commend you for adding us to your list. We see how many of you spring from your evening resting places and begin from the first step a frantic race from place to place hardly ever allowing yourself to see and experience the joy that each single moment can offer to bring you not only do you forget to stop and smell the roses but many of you are unaware that life is even a garden a garden of rich vegetables and luscious smelling flowers but since everything is such a blur you miss the beauty and splendor of your lives for never forget it is not the major events of your lives that will leave the largest imprints but rather all those small daily activities together that make up your lives this begins quite early on your planet, for the older are training the younger to be what you consider productive. So we see your youth begin their days with pre-activities before their school days even start. They run from class to class with bells ringing for their next experience, like little frantic rats in a lab. But it does not end with their school day, for it then begins with their sports and extracurricular activities, as well as all the after-school work they are given by the adults in their lives. 
So yes, on Earth, in most areas, the training for this frantic lifestyle is learned and promoted at a very early age. And not only are the young programmed to be this way, but it is extolled as a virtuous way of living and produces what you call well-rounded children on your planet. We shake our heads at this, for we just see a frantic feeling being now embraced at a much earlier age than ever before on your planet. And this leads to situations like anxiety, depression, and other issues we have already touched on this month. Stop. Please look at this moment from what you are doing as you are listening to the voice. For we know you well enough to see that you are probably doing more than one thing as you listen today. So we begin by just asking you to simply stop. Whether alone or with others now, we ask you to take a deep breath. Breathe in and blow out all of your worry, concern, and current tension. Now, we ask you to look around at your surroundings. Where is your sun in the sky? What sort of shadows is it currently making? Do you hear the voices of others now? Can you see other living things in your sight? Birds in the sky, perhaps? domestic animals nearby? Do you see other people milling about? If you are near other humans at this time, we ask you to look at them and really take notice of them right now. Smile. Look at the details of your surroundings as you breathe in slowly and breathe out as you consciously allow yourself to slow down. Your lives move so quickly that most of you miss far too much of the true beauty, the real majesty of what your lives should encapsulate. We saw much more of this type of appreciation in the earlier, less technological periods on your planet, the times when life was able to be slower. However, most of your lives are no longer like this, so you must slow it down in a much more cognizant manner. But it can still be done, and the benefits will fill your soul with far more joy than you can ever imagine. We are not expecting you to stop the way you live, for we realize it is far too ingrained within your societal norms. But we are attempting to remind you that at any given moment, you can take a quick reprieve from the crazy sides of your life to simply stop, look, and listen to the world that is happening around you. Once you begin to train your minds to do this and the people around you, you will begin to feel less frantic for you will begin to tap into the stillness of your soul. And in that short time period, you will begin to better sense the divinity that sits near you every second of the day. These quick moments make up the entire day and can pass you by quickly if you do not learn to appreciate these small moments. And in appreciating them, they will begin to grow into lengthier periods of time, time when you have moved into being present and very present for lengthy periods of time. You will also notice as you do this that there will be periods of time when you learn to hear, that quiet times also have their own sound and this sound will help to add to the level of peace you will feel in your life. It is the sound 
that will fill your soul. It also begins, however, by taking a breath, slowing yourself down, and then placing your awareness to look at your surroundings. Our channeler, Susan, used to love to sit upside down on the couch as a child and envision the world was totally upside down. These are the curious activities the young like to embrace before their lives became busy, frantic, and jaded. And we remind you now of these times. How many of you really look at one another? Take the time to disengage from your technology to have real-time conversations, not ones where there are eight things taking place at once. Many of you have lost loved ones, and you understand the ramifications of this once it is too late to be with the ones you love. Think of how engaged with these loved ones you would be if you were given one more hour with them, now that they are no longer with you. We ask you to begin to live your lives as if every moment was a precious minute, so these moments would be better appreciated and therefore not wasted. You are frantic about many unimportant things that you place too much importance on. Stop. This planet is in place to learn to love, give, and grow. Begin this practice in small ways today as you go through your lives, trying to let go of the crazy while stepping into the moment of each and every experience. Fully embrace each now moment by seeing the small things, not sweating them, but seeing and experiencing them. For some places and people you have known, it may be too late for this, but not for everything. We therefore set you with a challenge this week we challenge you to acknowledge when you may be in such a frantic way that you are missing the little moments of beauty that make up your life. Then to simply stop and breathe, look around you, engage with the people and places in your daily life that you have learned to ignore because you have placed an agenda of things to do as being more important than them. See each other. Lighten up. Practice this way of living several times a day during this week until it becomes a more natural way of living during your hectic lives. We promise that not only will it make you feel less stressed and hectic, but it will also allow you to re-engage yourself to the people you love and spend time with on a daily basis because you will stop, listen, see and hear the beauty of your life that you may now be missing. It's never too late to learn to begin to enjoy and celebrate the now. This is Susan Schuler channeling Jacob from the Akashic Records. Please stay tuned for the last segment of the show today when we will be discussing today's channel. And don't forget to call in if you have any psychic questions. The number is 202-570-7057. Have a lovely and blessed week. Conscious lifestyle to your world. Om Times Radio. I Om FM. Looking for inspiration? Want to be inspired? Not sure where to go. Find Mark and Kim every Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern on Inspired Living. Topics will elevate consciousness and range from metaphysics to the human and social experience and all things spiritual. 
Welcome to an inspired community that offers support, encouragement, and new ways of thinking. You are, you are the, inspired the inspired and, and the inspiration. inspiration. Hi, this is Julie Geigel. Would you like a free psychic reading? Become a member of our inner circle and get a free reading today. Sign up at juliegeigel.com. Hi, this is Susan Schuler. Have you stopped by my website to download your free mini grounding meditation? Do so now at mediumsusan.com. Would you like to speak with an angel? Hi, I'm Lori Walker, a trans channel for Rialta from the angelic realm. Book your session now at loriwalker.com. And we are the Psychic Angel Channelers from Angel Talk Tuesday. When is the best time to talk to your family about staying in touch during a disaster? When floodwaters reach your door, when wildfires are engulfing the edge of your neighborhood, or an earthquake is destroying buildings. Or is the best time, perhaps, today? During a disaster, you may not be able to stay in touch with your family or friends as easily as you think. Go to ready.gov slash communicate and make your emergency plan today. Don't wait. Communicate. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ad Council. Welcome back. This is Julie Geigel. Thank you for listening to Angel Talk Tuesday, hosted every Tuesday on Ohm Times Radio. Um, thank you, Susan Schuler, for that beautiful message from Jacob. Wow. All kinds of great uh, tips and insights to really motivate us to stay grounded in love, most definitely. And we are here and ready to take your Call at one two zero two five seven zero seven zero five seven. Again, that number is one two zero two five seven zero seven zero five seven. And I just want to welcome the lovely Amber Sherman in our break room. She just joined our uh, break room over on Facebook, Angel Talk Tuesday Break Room. And uh, welcome, Amber. And she said, love that. See the small things. Don't sweat them. Experience them. And that was absolutely an awesome, awesome quote there from our Jacob. And uh, just a few things. Susan, how you doing? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm here. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. And let me get my um, volume here so I can hear you. Um, perfect. Okay. So just a few things that Jacob talked about, uh, that I really want to go maybe a little bit deeper into. I'm um, actually going to jump to one of my favorite ones. Uh, quiet times also have their own sound. I was like, Oh my gosh, they do. Oh my <laughs> goodness. It is the sound that fills your soul. Wow, Susan, that just blew me away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's funny, I, Julie, doesn't the, okay, because when I heard that, what it reminded me of, don't they say like the planet has a certain resonance? Yep. And yep. I, it was like that immediately, it made me, it reminded me of that, but it also reminded me of like when you're trying to raise your vibration, you know, we are always clearing with a tincture bell and playing all this music and stuff. But I do feel that sometimes when you're trying to raise your vibration, it's like you do just need silence. Most definitely, most definitely. And um, I, I would say it was about a year ago, I started to hear this orchestra of music in my ears. And it's just this beautiful chiming, this beautiful chorus of bells. And I don't know really how to describe it, but... Um, Catherine, actually, who I used to channel with us here on the show, she was the one that told me, she said, uh, that's a really, really great sign, number one, that you are have awoken, you're, you know, in that level of awakening, those stages, but also that's the sound of the universe, so you're, you're actually are hearing the sound of the angels, the sound of heaven, the sound of the universe. And so when Jacob said, quiet times also have their own sound, it was like, they do, they mm -hmm. do. And what I found as, you know, I've been meditating for many, many years, is in the beginning, 
I was really drawn to guided meditation. And I still love to listen to, you know, the big, the big dogs out there, Eckhart and Oprah and Deepak and all of those beautiful, beautiful meditation teachers. Uh, but what I've found is I actually prefer just silence. Even music distracts me now. I just, I just want it to be quiet um, and to tune into the sound of silence. I mean, That's that was so one of my that- favorite songs. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. And don't you notice? Remember when you were younger? It was like I couldn't, I couldn't eat breakfast cereal without listening to like my my iPod or back in the day my Sony Walkman. And I mean, if you look at young people, <laughs> they seriously they can't walk down the street without popping in their headset. And now I notice, and my husband's even recently said this to me, and um, he's like, I don't listen to music anymore when I drive. I just enjoy the silence. And I thought about it, and I was like, oh, my gosh, that's interesting. I never put the TV on when I'm home alone. I never put on music. I just enjoy the peace and the solitude and the, and the sound of the silence. Yes, absolutely. And I've begun to crave it. I start my days out. I get up extra early before everybody in the house. And, I mean, that's, that's the highlight of my whole day is to just sit quietly in the living room and, you know, watch the – the night turn into day in the morning and listen, you know, just be quiet, listen to silence. And then when people start getting up and banging around and then Mm -hmm. it's like, okay, okay, um, my happy, happy times are over. But (laughs) (laughs) yeah, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful thing that he said that it just really, really, really wanted to point that out. um, That beautiful truth. You know, it's interesting, too, what you say about meditation. I think most people, when they start to meditate, I mean, I started with transcendental meditation, so we had a mantra. But I think a lot of people start with guided meditations because it's easier to kind of have somebody walk you through it. And I remember Paul Jacobs was the first teacher I ever had who said, we have to sit absolutely perfectly still. You may not even itch your nose, and we're not going to listen to anything. And I was like, huh? (laughs) <laughs> and it sort of freaked me out for a little bit because I was always one of those people that needed the noise and needed to speak if there was that uncomfortable silence. Yeah. But I really enjoy it now. So I agree with what yeah. you're saying about just that morning time. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Another um, quote that I got from Jacob was uh, to consciously allow yourself to slow down. Because when you're so busy, 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 you just, you miss so much beauty. And he said this, the benefits will fill your soul with far more joy than you can ever imagine. So yeah, I mean, we just, we get on that autopilot. And I mean, when my day starts at nine or 10 o'clock, I am just like flying. (laughs) I'm like, you know, boom, 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 this done, that done, boom, boom, boom. Um, and you know, my evening kind of goes the same way. And then I hit the couch about eight o'clock at night and I'm just spent. I'm exhausted. I can't, I turn into this couch potato, this lump. I was just thinking about that this morning during my meditation, how unproductive I am in the evening, but it's, it's, um, I believe that on the days when I just slow down and just kind of drift and float through the day instead of running around being this productive machine that I actually have energy throughout the evening instead of doing that crash and burn. Do you notice that with yourself, Susan? Absolutely. Yeah, I think that's really important to just, yeah, absolutely. And it's funny, too, because like even today, because I have an event tonight and because I'm like what you're saying, I'm a little powerhouse in the morning. And by two o'clock, I'm usually like sleepy time. (laughs) Um, (laughs) that I woke up this morning, I'm like, okay, what am I going to have to do by seven o'clock? I have to be on, you know? (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. And very exciting. Um, you host a lot of live events and you just, the energy of those live events must be very exciting for you. And I do want to say, you know, we, Susan and I hosted an online event here last week on May 11th and we had a fabulous time. And we're looking uh, to do that again, maybe maybe something at the end of July or a little later in the summer. But yeah, that was very exciting, the energy of an online event versus a live demonstration. Um, any thoughts on, on engaging with people, Susan? Do you know it's interesting, too, because um, it's, 
I, I remember like I've got people who are, who are very active involved in theater and I've got like Chris Drew is our one mentor who was actually on the London stage before he did mediumship full time. And he talks about how the audience feeds you energy. You know what I mean? But it, it is interesting how it is like a give and take. And even I noticed it on the online thing. It was the same. It was truly um, a give and take of energy. And I didn't go away from that experience tired, just like I don't go away from mediumship demonstrations tired. I usually feel really, like, pumped up. Do you feel like that too, Julie? Oh, most definitely. And even when I channel in the morning, it's one of my best days of the week mm -hmm. because there's just this beautiful energy that just kind of keeps you uplifted through the day. Absolutely. It's funny you should say that. That's exactly yeah. why I planned my event tonight on a Tuesday night. Oh, right. Yeah, <laughs> to carry carry yep. you through there. Oh, wow, this time just goes so fast. Well, everyone, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to join us here on Angel Talk Tuesday. Remember, archives are posted 24 hours after the live show airs on omtimesradio.com. Don't forget to join us on Facebook in the Angel Talk Tuesday break room where we post our favorite quotes and engage directly with you. Remember, you have a plethora of angels uplifting, inspiring, and enfolding you in God's love every day. Until next time, this is the Psychic Angel Channelers, Julie Geigel, Susan Schuler, and Lori Walker, helping you connect with your own angelic team.